Hey everybody, Luke Thompson from Action VFX, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an infinite loop using VFX assets, or any other footage. Let's do it. To do this, I'm going to use a script called The Loop Maker by Lloyd Alvarez on aescripts.com. I'll include a link in the description. It is worth noting that this is a name your own price tool, so you can proceed to check out for free. But as always, if you find this useful, go back, pay some money for it because that helps support artists that make cool stuff. With the Loop Maker installed, you'll want to go ahead and drop your source footage in. I'm using a clip from our Flame Torch collection. Set your start and end point for where you want the clip to loop. Something worth noting is that you'll really want to try and keep as many unique flares inside your clip to a minimum to make the loop appear more seamless. With the clip on the timeline, just click the script and the dialog box will show up. By default, it'll be set to 60 frames and the cycle method. You can try a few different things depending on what works well for you, but the default settings are a really good starting point. I'm going to click the loop button and it'll instantly create a pre-comp. I'm going to extend the comp duration to add some breathing room for previewing here. And you'll see that it's created some different keyframes. I'm going to duplicate this clip. I'm going to hit U to reveal the keyframes. And I'm just going to line up the keyframes from the end of the first clip and the beginning of the second. And it's also important to drag this back so that it's not overlapping at any point. So as we scrub across the timeline here, you'll be able to see that it's not looking very seamless. This is due to the frame amount that we've selected. So to fix this, let's drop this frame rate way down and see if we can get it to stop dissolving. Let's drop this frame rate to five and repeat the process of duplicating and aligning our keyframes. Now let's play this back and see what it looks like. The transition is much faster, which makes it look like a much more natural loop. This helps because the fire is really fast moving, so it really works well with that quick transition. If this were a smoke plume, you'd probably want to do more of the 200 frame range for the transition uh, because that would make it much more slower and gradual. If I go into this pre-comp, you'll see that the individual clip went from 869 frames to our now extended version at 2612 frames. And of course, you can loop this to infinity because that's kind of the point. At this point, all you'll need to do is export that final comp in a format that makes sense for you. So if you do have a fire clip like that, you can export it as a ProRes 444 with alpha and it'll be looped and ready to rock for your other project. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. Be sure to check out AE Scripts and Loop Maker if you're wanting to make this kind of effect. And please let us know what you want to see more of. If this video is helpful for you, let us know in the comments. And as always, I'm Luke Thompson for ActionVFX.com.